In 1999, the number of participants in the PQ grew to 516 designers and creative teams from 47 countries. In front of the industrial palace, home of the Prague Quadrennial, was Le Campement, an international camp of symposiums and alternative theaters. On the palace balcony, there was a photographic exposition of the works of the doyen of Czech theater photography, Jaroslav Krejci, and his students. One part of the right wing of the exhibition was given over to Light Lab, a laboratory of theater lighting. This year, the Czech Republic's exposition earned them their first golden triga. Commissioners of the Czech exhibition, scenographers Simona Rybakova and Shimon Tsaban, invited five other like-minded designers. The entire exhibition was conceived as a labyrinth in which each participant had his or her own corner. Another Czech success was costume designer Jana Prekova. She received a gold medal for costume design. Spaniard Guillen also received a gold medal for costumes. His countryman, Jaume Plensa from the group La Fura dels Baus, who was inspired by street festivals, won a gold medal for scenography. Great Britain's exhibition enchanted with Stefanos Lazaridis' surrealistic model for Benjamin Britten's opera Turn of the Screw. Paul Brown made his debut at the PQ with King Arthur and characters from other Celtic legends that had the air of Asian martial arts masters and comics about them. Zinovi Margolin of Belarus created fantastical beings from the Christian world, angels, that flew above the Belarusian exposition. The Russian exposition used a lot of puppets. Israeli designer Rakifet Levy put together an imposing mythological comic sci-fi costume design. The Swiss exposition was created by Mark Degeler, who created a dim space which was attacked by luminous figures and snatches of opera arias. Norway's Erland Berkeland created an economical, clean, minimalist exposition. And the Egyptian commissioner gave the opportunity to exhibit to scenographers whose work contained reminders of the ancient glory of the country. The Republic of South Africa participated in the Prague Quadrennial for the first time. Their exposition connected ritual expression with modern and with industrial waste. The UNESCO prizes were awarded to young designers and collectives in two categories, for beginning artists and for schools. Liz Ashcroft of Britain received a prize for Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Estonian Vladimir Anshun's UNESCO award-winning installation was inspired by his scenography for Pushkin's Queen of Spades. UNESCO also awarded a group of designers from New Zealand for their inventive installation in the form of a table on which were served documents and fragments of New Zealand theatre, especially experimental. UNESCO awarded prizes to the following schools from the school section. Israel and its experimental Space for Hamlet, which had the quality of a symposium. Great Britain, with its collection of varied models, 
a favorite also in the national section. Latvia, among whose slick models the little prince impressed again. Students from the Netherlands exhibited within the national section. There, the project Wojtek, inspired by Buchner's romantic expressionistic drama, received the UNESCO prize. Korean students used a sense of play and national traits. Their participation in the PQ is always interesting. They received a UNESCO prize as well. The thematic section, entitled Homage to Sonography, was a retrospective exposition and portrait of individual artists. German sonographer Achim Freyer won the award in the thematic section, which presented his life's work founded on musical opuses and his provocations using extreme visual shapes. Experienced Korean designer Byung Bok Lee received the silver medal in the thematic section. The center of attraction of the thematic section was the Polish carousel, in which characters from two classics of design-oriented Polish theater spun around, Stanislaw Wispiansky and Tadeusz Kantor. Another personality of the thematic exposition was Swede Lennart Merck, sonographer for Ingmar Bergman. Dane Ket Gitta, who participated in the national sections as well, exhibited posters in the thematic section. Brazil took home the gold for architecture. British architects were awarded a special gold medal for the reconstruction of the Glindenborn Opera House. Poland received a silver medal for using and respecting the genius loci for theater production. Children participated for the first time in the Prague Quadrennial in 1999, in the PQ for children, playing with theater and about theater in the exhibition space.